And we're back. And this is going to be a little short series where we're going to try surviving the start on all the different possible starts on these asteroids. Now I am going to leave out Terra. Terra is the default start that we've been using for ages. So the only change to Terra is that it's actually got a, an additional biome. The, ah, the rust biome has been added to it. So it's a, effectively another ice biome has been added. So what we're going to try first is Verdante. Verdant? Verdant? Yeah, okay, we'll go with Verdant. Now, I want to try and get something here that's not so horrific as that. We want to make sure that it's as mm, close to normal as possible, and those large glaciers are going to mess up where the normal spawn is. So, this start has small boulders and is geodormant. So, it'll have less uh, geysers and vents than usual, and it'll have a few small boulders about the place. But I just want to show you what this map will look like and what you can expect. So, we'll just have a quick fire it right up here, and we're not even going to choose good dupes. We just want to actually have a look at the map and show you how this is going to differ from from normal and how it's going to change our playstyle. So welcome to the Verdant map. Now the Verdant map is going to start you in the new forest style biome and there's been some changes in the patches back and forth but basically there is muckroot available on this now so you, you don't actually starve to death immediately or don't have to scrabble for food instantly. You can survive on muckroot for a while. There's about 48, 50,000 calories I think in here. Now as well as that you're missing the ice biomes. The ice biomes are completely gone. Ice biomes no longer don't exist in the Verdant map set. Now, there is actually cold areas, but these are all rust biomes. So the rust biomes still exist. And why is that also close? Oh, never mind. The space biome is also very cold. I hadn't realized that. But anyway, the lots of rust biomes around, and they're going to probably be your early sources of oxygen because they contain rust. So that's good. We've also got a slime biome, slime biomes present, which is great. That's lots of polluted water, so we can make lots of oxygen out of that as well. So salt and well, with access to rust and access to polluted water, oxygen should not be an issue on this map. Also, the only other weird feature is no oil biome. When you look down here at the bottom, it's actually just a random assortment of biomes. There's no actual con contiguous oil biome. It doesn't exist. Well, instead, what you get is these little pockets of oil biomes everywhere. And each pocket has an oil reservoir, which quite actually handy for late game, I'd say. Not going to happen be too much of a, an advantage in early game, but... Uh, there's an oil, there's like a little oil pocket, oil biome pocket, and it's got an oil reservoir. There's another one, another oil reservoir. Uh, there's uh, another one over here, oil reservoir in that too. Pretty much everywhere you see an oil, there's another one that's four. There's a fifth. I think there's about seven to nine. There's another one over there with another oil reservoir. There's just so many little uh, biomes full of oil and w oil wells. So if you really want to go with a lot of oil power, this map seems absolutely sorted for it. But the only things you're going to be missing are basically ice biome. Ice biome's gone and no contiguous oil biome. Your oil biome's going to be spread out. And yeah, I'm just going to fire up a map on this and we're going to see how easy it is to survive. Oh, yeah, the starting biome, you don't get any algae. You don't get anything to make easy oxygen. All you get is these oxy ferns. There's about 15 hidden in the biome. Well, not hidden. They'll actually be out in the open. There's no oxy fern seeds hidden and you can't harvest them for more. So they're pretty much your only source of oxygen until you escape your starter biome. So, let's fire one up and see how it goes. So, we're going to pick a map that's hopefully not too horrifying. Just... Oh, give me that map. Geoactive with small boulders. You know what? Perfect. Geoactive means I'll have a few more... Um, is that more vents or is it more volcanoes? Actually, I don't care. It should leave the starting biomes anyway pretty pretty much okay. I don't have a misaligned pod or anything. So, that should mean all the... Uh, the re it should be a regular start. Now, uh, the trait system has been changed. You can now select what you want up here. So we're going to select a, a digger. We're also going to want a scientist. Uh, give me a researcher. For this one, I'm going to go with um, actually suit wearing. I'm going to want a duplicate that's fast. Now, one moment. So I've picked some relevant duplicates. Uh, we've got a digger here with quick learning. Um, I could go with mole hands, but I prefer the quick learning because it will help them increase their construction. They're going to spend about 70% of their time doing construction or digging and 30% of their time doing construction. So, you know, get some quick learning to help them level it up faster. Uh, quick learning and research because plus 10 research, plus 10 science to, on a starting dupe. Why not? Uh, for not your mum, this one's going to be the dog's body doing all the general all-rounding stuff. So having plus seven speed, because they will be running from task to task all over the map, very helpful. And quick learner just to improve all their skills. And let's just embark upon this. Now, I want to do a quick check on getting diggy with it here when it starts, because I've had a weird glitch happen to me before. 
Uh, first up, let's have a look around the verdant map and have a quick check on getting diggy with it. Uh, okay, excavation plus seven. I once started up with excavation plus seven, but instead it ended up in, uh, was it cooking? So my cuisine ended up at plus seven, even though when I checked the recordings, I definitely pick digging. Now, uh, find your water pocket, or maybe two water pockets. You might have two. Oh yeah, we got two water pockets. That might actually be a third one over there. So we want to probably put our ladder segments down through here or we could go this side could we yeah we could also go that side nope that would come up to the water i need to go to the right yeah we're going to go with the ladder segments down this side uh closest water pocket is way 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 down here we're gonna have to start digging and we're gonna have to start digging right now and make it three tiles high that gets all three duplicates active and now we're going to actually need at least oop, speed that up a bit now we're gonna need some ladder segments to start uh, doo -doo -doo, there yeah. Done. Uh, we're also going to want to dig in there. So that's the kind of... Uh, oh, that's probably the closest water I'm going to get. I could also go up, but uh, I'd have to go through granite. Well, if I want to keep my ladder system straight. Okay, I didn't keep it straight down here either. Just, okay, this is what I went with. Now, uh, as we dig down, I'm also going to want to set up some bedrooms. Uh, I do like to set up the bedrooms sooner rather than later. Oh, yeah, there's a bunch of shine bugs there. You know what? I don't want them anywhere near my bedrooms. Uh, light now interferes with your duplicate sleep. Not very handy. Uh, one, two, three. So that's a look at the shine bugs. We don't want them in there. In fact, all light interferes with your duplicate sleep. So. Yeah, we're going to make these emergency beds. One of the reasons I get up the emergency beds now straight away instead of the going straight for the toilets is you can survive one night without the, the toilets. But if your duplicate sleep on the ground, they get minus one athletics the next day due to uncomfortable sleep. So you know what? I'd rather take care of that sooner rather than later. Now, actually, get rid of that. Make that a work segment. You only need two downtime schedules, this two downtime shifts for uh, sleeping. More dirt, dirt. Yeah, maybe I need some more igneous rock to get this working. Come on. Yeah, we'll make that a six. So they get into that. Wow, there's loads of carbon dioxide already. How is there so much carbon dioxide this early on? And never mind, we got a pocket of oxygen down here that'll help my dupes keep working through the uh, through this. Uh, bathrooms. We're going to need some emergency ones, aren't we? Uh, Give me a couple of wash basins right here, uh, followed up immediately by an outhouse, and... Yeah, I'm not going to get those down this cycle, am I? Yeah, highly unlikely. Eh, you never know. Yeah, didn't manage to get the bathrooms down in time. It's, uh, it's, it's fine. Oh, and uh, the very moment you encounter Muckroot, which I just have there uh, the moment you harvest it make sure you set your dupes to collect it and put it up here it just uh, otherwise your dupes can sometimes hop out of the bathroom and eat it it's just annoying I also believe I forgot to do the priorities again okay so uh, getting diggy with it build dig mega mind build dig and research up by two and uh, not your mum deprioritize building and digging you're going to be stocking farming all that kind of stuff in fact let's get rid of farming for everyone else because we want you to get better at it and stay better at it uh cooking yep also going to be all not your mum uh was there one more you know what i don't care oh and i'm probably going to put up operate by one because they will be running on the hamster wheel when the hamster wheel shows up i don't want anyone else touching that if at all possible okay and that should take care of priorities oh and why did no one dig up that food yet and fine, bathroom's finished. Now, uh, I would prefer to actually dig down more and give myself more of a carbon pit. So let's actually just clean all that out. It'll give at least the carbon somewhere to fall down to. And then we're going to start building upwards so that we can put in our bathrooms and our permanent bathroom facilities and our permanent sleeping facilities. Now, uh, one, two, three, yep, wait a bit there. And just queue up the bedrooms. This will be my new bedroom facilities in here. This will be my new bathroom. bathrooms. Uh, I'll put a dining hall up here. 
Uh, once I get the bathrooms in, I'm actually going to switch straight into science. I just want all my duplicates working flat out right now just to get the basic infrastructure in. But by cycle three, yeah, once I've got the bedrooms in, I'm probably going to go straight to get up to uh, some, some of the more scientific stuff up and running. Ah, oh, God damn it, getting diggy with it. How did you manage that? You know I'm going to have to dig out some oxalate just to get you out of there. That just... Oh, that is frustrating. Every game, every game, they all, the dupes always manage to do that. Or something along those lines. But getting diggy with it? Seriously, they're like the best digger. How do they still manage to mess that up? Actually, I should probably change some priorities here. And get in some beds. Uh, so, new bedroom facilities complete, with room for expansion, of course, and now we'll put in the research. Oh, yeah, i got to put in the bathrooms there, but i got to wait for some of that oxalite to uh, off-gas. Uh, you know what, let's just set you to left, though I really don't think it matters this early on. Research-wise, the first thing you want is meal prep. Now that they've got rid of the skills job board thing, this is... It's a no-brainer. Straight into... This will basically get you the mess tables as well and uh, the much nicer farming tiles. Planter pots or planter boxes are okay, but farming tiles are just better all around. And that will be your early research to start anyway. Then while the research is going on, you're going to want to take your time to, well, shred out large areas of the map. And um, we need to find... What is it? Uh, consumable ore. We are looking for... Not bleach stone, the stuff. Oxalite. See those light blue patches? Wherever they are on the map, I want to dig open those areas so I can gain access to that. Uh, yeah, there we go. That's that's all my oxygen, basically, at the start of the game. All of it. All my oxygen is going to come from that. Um, there's no real other oxygen sources. Well, you've got these, uh, what do you call them, thimble re... Uh, the oxyfern things? Yeah, oxyferns are terrible. Uh, okay, that's, that's harsh. Oxyferns, it's not that they're terrible, they're just not very efficient. Oxyferns consume carbon dioxide, they turn it into oxygen, and they do that at a wonderfully efficient rate, or so it would seem. Um, on their own, they don't do very well. Uh, they do it, well, let's find this one. Yeah, this one's working. So it consumes a tiny amount of carbon dioxide and emits quite a lot of oxygen. So it's creating mass out of the carbon dioxide. They're set up so that the amount of carbon dioxide your dupes give off is actually count... Uh, if you feed all of that carbon dioxide to the plants, they'll emit enough oxygen that it's a sort of a closed loop where everything would work out perfectly. However, there are problems with that. Actually, let's set this to 25%. Uh, one, you're assuming no gas overwriting happens. Two, you're assuming you don't hollow out any extra tiles. And three, let's see what we've got for blueprints. Uh, care packages are nice, but let's see if we've got any deep slow learner and an arcleptic and flatulent. No, thank you. You know what? I will just take the sand. That is, ugh, narcoleptic slow learner and a flatulent. That is just wonderful picks. Now, some people will recommend you don't uh, hire any dupes at first on this map because it is kind of awkward and you're stuck with oxyferns as your only source of oxygen. However, I'm impatient. I like to move quickly, so I'm not going to go that route. I'm going to go a slightly different direction. Uh, let's see if it works. I'm going to go straight for algae, actually. I'm going to crack open a slime biome as soon as I get level 2 digging available to me. Uh, also, I'm going to need to do something to get rid of that carbon dioxide. Hmm. Oh yes, uh, oxyferns. So even if you do domesticate them, they'll actually and feed them water and fertilizer. That's great, you'll get more oxygen out of them. The downside is... Um, the amount of water you put in, if you put it into an electrolyzer, it'll give you pretty much the same. That's That's what makes it so painful. Ooh, actually, if I cracked it open and get that oxyfern in on this carbon dioxide, you know what, I think I am going to do that. Uh, combined with all the other labor, labor intensive stuff you've got going on in this map, it's kind of annoying. And by labor intensive, I mean your only real food choices on this map are mealwood. And mealwood is the most labor intensive food crop you can possibly make. Even if you leave it, even if you eat it raw, it's still more labor intensive than any other crop. Combine that with the extra labor you're going to have to put into your oxyferns. Ah. Uh, this map is just so labor intensive you need lots of dupes but you can't support lots of dupes because you don't have the the capacity for it with the amount of oxygen production you have and the more dupes you do have the more food and all that you're going to need it just it's, it's a horrible 
combination that slows you down and makes the early game a crawl. So I'm attempting to come up with a way that's not quite so slow. Well, that's the theory. Yeah, we'll make these sixes. I won't actually get that open and add some of that carbon dioxide in there. I could probably crack these open as well. You know what I am? Worst case scenario, it just gives me more space to dump carbon dioxide down here. It's just my dupes are having a hard time breathing down this low. Now, we'll just let that cook on for a minute. Uh, yeah, they're still stifled. Never mind, that didn't work out very well. This plant here will, of course, get lots of lots of work to going on. Um, Food-wise, we're actually still doing quite good, namely because muckroot. We're finding lots of forest muckroot because we have a good digger. Uh, actually, let's dig out everything we can right now. The more stuff we dig out, the more muckroot we find, the more food we have to keep going on. Uh, yes, I know I'm uprooting some wild mealwood. I uh, don't really care too much right now. Uh, there. Actually, yeah, I left the mealwood. I'm going to need to start putting down planter pots shortly, and uh, I'm going to need to find some way of getting that water out of there. Uh, I think I might just enlarge this water hole. Hmm, might be an idea. Combine those two to get... Whoa, okay, so I've got even more oxalate down here. moment actually if I increase the size of this by just a bit say like that there we go hmm. yes that looks much better so a quick enlargement of this pool would ooh, okay I'm maybe enlarging that just a little bit too quickly too right now but uh also, what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop all of this water in on top of it. Because, you know, why not? Um, ooh, I might want to put a brick or two here just to uh, help the water flow correctly. It should force all the water down this way. It should fall down here, roll down, and dump into here. And I should probably put in another brick somewhere. Hmm, let's see. Let's put in a few toilets. I'm going to lose the bathroom bonus, but it should be fine. I've got enough morale to keep all my duplicates happy. And time to see if the water does flow the way we want it to. Eh, close enough. We'll mop that up there. Eh, okay, so I spill quite a bit, but it ends up bottled. Okay, that should be fine. Now, you know what? I don't need to go all the way down there. All I want to do is actually... Ooh, germs. You know, we're fine. All I want to do here is just crack in here and let that oxygen out. There's like three kilos of oxygen pressure in there that, and loads and loads of oxalate. I want all of that to flow out of there. Uh, Water-wise, yeah, that all worked out pretty good. I'm not going to complain. I get rid of all of that. Dun, dun, dun. And now we can actually seal up these bathrooms. And that's consolidated my water supply. Well... If you don't, ooh, poke shells. Are they poke? Yeah, the poke shell. These are a new way of getting lime. Uh, when they're born, oh, they give you one kilo of lime from their eggshell when they're born. Then they're a baby for five cycles. Then after five cycles, they turn into an adult. And when they do, they molt, giving off five kilos of molt, which you can turn into basically five kilos of lime. Then when they evolve into their final form of meat, they leave behind 10 kilos of uh Molt, which you can also turn into lime. So in their entire life cycle, they give you 16 kilos of lime. Not too shabby. It actually makes them quite useful. Now, give me a duplicate that's not horrible. Squeamish, I can live with. Irritable bell, I can live with. And pacifist, I can live with. Actually, I can live with all three of those. Triophobia, no, still need all diggers now. Squeamish and irritable bell. So that I can live with. Ooh, whoa, plus seven ranching with diver's lung. Yep, yeah, you're a new beastie. Uh, the Beastmaster. Yes, now I should not be hiring more duplicates considering how weak the oxygen supply is in the base, but I don't care. Uh, let's check out skills. Okay, getting diggy with it, you're going to go into hard digging. Uh, Megamind, you're going to go straight into advanced research. Uh, not your mum, you are going to go improve carrying, and Beastmaster, you're going to go straight into farming. And if we'll go to priorities... Actually, Beastmaster, I'm going to downgrade your building and digging, and I'm going to up your farming to 
average. And namely because I want you to help out uh, Dog's Body. Dog's Body is going to be swamped quite shortly as we start bringing our farms online. Uh, so, uh, we'll do farms along here. Yeah, why not? Ooh, we can actually dig that now. I forgot I've got... Uh, hmm. Yeah, I've got dogs... I've got... Uh, getting diggy with it is now actually got the decent digging skill. That means options have opened up. Lots of options. Namely, slime biome. Now, where is the slime biome? Let me think for a second. Yeah, okay. So this plan calls for me to get my hands on some buddy bud plant. I need to get some buddy bud plant to start combating the germs. And then I want to get my hands on some algae and use that algae in conjunction with an oxygen diffuser and a buddy bud to provide more oxygen to my base. Because seriously, these oxy ferns are just so bad. Now, uh, to do that, I'm going to have to dig in and get access to them. But I do want to get my farm set up first. So I'm going to set up some farms first, then I'm going to do that. But I am going to maybe start thinking about doing some prep work in that direction. Yeah, I'm probably going to dig across here, and uh, because that's where the nearest buddy bud I can find is. Uh, so this is bathrooms. Next floor up is going to be food. Yeah, we've got ourselves... Oh, yeah, furniture. We've got ourselves some mess tables. Now, to make that a proper mess hole, you want to actually put in some lighting. Uh, do we have furniture yet? Nope, I do not have furniture. How's my research looking? Uh, currently, I'm researching supercomputers. You know what? I'm going to leave it on supercomputers. I'll get... Mm, actually, no, I'll get lights first. I'll get lights, then I'll get supercomputers. I need the supercomputers because I need to get deodorizers, and I need deodorizers because I'm going to be tackling slime. And polluted oxygen, of course. Yeah, we'll just fast forward this a little bit. So the farming tiles start to go in. I can now start actually planting some mealwood. So I'll probably want to stop... Uh, I'll need to make a, a seed storage facility just to stop all the pips from eating the seeds and planting them all over the map. Uh, I mean, I like wild food. Wild food is great and all that, but uh, I am going to need to get a little bit more industrial about food production. Yeah, they planted a bunch in my dining hall. You know what? I'll, I'll leave it there for now, but... <laughs> slightly unintentional. Uh, also, these oxy ferns, not doing too bad. As long as the oxygen, the carbon dioxide stays around there, I'm not going to be too unhappy with that. That's uh, quite a lot of oxy ferns down there to eat stuff. I'm lucky that the oxy ferns ended down this low. Uh, anyway, uh, we'll skip forward a little bit more. There's nothing too uh, exciting going on here. I'm getting this hole up and running. Uh, ooh, actually, how's the research going? The research is just getting smashed through. Uh, we'll get brute force refinement as well while we're at it. Uh, the reason the research is getting smashed through is we have a researcher with plus 10 in to research. It it generally just makes research fly by very quickly. Uh, you can go... We just want a light bulb in there, don't we? Yep. And that's all you need to make that a mess hall. Oh. Yeah, no, I want to deconstruct those. I need to replace that with a, a wall segment. Then it will be a mess hall. Um... Food done, and then yeah, next floor up here. That would simply just to just get above that. Next after this is done, uh, once the dining hall is done, bathrooms are finished, and the food is finished. I'm going to dig over this direction. Oh wait, no, advanced research lab also has to go in. Power generation. Well, that's going to be slightly trickier. There's no really good power supply, power sources on this map. Uh, by that I mean there's wood. That's about it. That's the only power you get in your starting area. Not exactly filling you with confidence, let's say. Uh, you know what? We'll dig you across there, and we'll dig out some of this tree. Hopefully it can provide us with some more wood. Oh, actually, there's another one down there. You know what? I'll dig out that area, too. This starting biome is just completely wonky. It's not bad. It's just... Uh, if we zoom out here, you'll notice... Yeah, there's my biome up here, and then it kind of goes all the way wide out here and really low down here. I do like that they've mixed it up a bit with the biomes, your starting biome. Instead of just being a pretty much a starting bubble or circle, it actually has some bite to it now, or some reality to it. Anyway, we'll skip forward a bit until some more of this construction is done. Now, uh, room bonuses. This is the mess hall. It's giving me plus three morale, but it requires a light, which requires 10 watts. However, you can disable the light. I'm not going to. I, I like to try and stick within developer's intent. Oh, food shortage. What's going on? 10k? Yeah, I need to increase digging, don't I? Um, it's going to be a while before those crops come online because I was lazy about getting them up and running. But yeah, I definitely should have been finding more muckroot. I think I'm going to have to excavate more of this area. Oh, there's some actual mealwood in there that I can harvest as well. You know what? Let's uh, Let's go grab that. 
and let's not be so hasty about digging up so much food. Oop, there's some more muckroot right there. We'll take you too. Oh, and more oxalite. Thank you very much. I will have that oxalite too. Oh, and there's more muckroot and oxalite up here. Actually, that muckroot, I'm going to have to harvest that one, definitely. Yeah, there's plenty of muckroot around the map, and the muckroot in the forest biome gives you plenty of calories. Okay, that's giving me more of a sink for my carbon dioxide. In fact, I'm hoping all my carbon dioxide ends up down here eventually. I may have to expand this, but not just yet. Now, uh, science, that's the one thing I have been neglecting. Mm. Where is it? Reports research. Now, I've got brute force refinement. I've got an uh, advanced research lab. Now, I just need to get myself... Uh, where was it? Oxygen, oxygen, oxygen. Down here. Yeah, I basically want to get myself some deodorizers, and I want to get myself a carbon skimmer. Uh, I'm also going to want to get plumbing as well. In fact, I want everything. I want all the research, and I should never stop researching at this point. Well, I should never stop researching until I have a big building project I want doing. Um, yeah, all my dupes are standing around doing nothing. That is a bad sign. Well, that's better. Lots and lots of, of dig commands queued up. That should keep my dupes busy for at least, well... A long while. And I'm also digging over here so I can get closer to this uh, buddy bud. I want that buddy bud and I want all the actual uh, algae in this area. We're going to try and use the water to absorb the slime lung uh, or keep the slime from off gassing and hopefully get that working. Uh, this is going to be my food storage pit. Uh, it's not quite sterile yet. We're still waiting on to get enough uh, carbon dioxide in there. Oop. Accidentally dumped in a bit of chlorine as well. It'll be fine. Chlorine, carbon dioxide, one or the other will do grand. Uh, ooh, another duplicate to choose from. Yeah, we got allergies, allergies, and bottomless stomach. Uh, considering the strategy I'm going with, allergies doesn't sound like a good idea, and bottomless stomach, no thank you. So we'll just print out some salt water. I'll find a use for it at some point. And yes, I completely forgot to build a bed for my beastie duplicate. Oops, uh, bed queued up. Uh, I've also created a new schedule for them. Actually, I should move them to the new schedule. Uh, so, Beastmaster. So yeah, new schedule that will keep them all separate, keeps all the, the bathrooms flowing through at a reasonable rate, and actually, why am I even... Why do I even have these bathrooms down here anymore? Let's just make sure. Room bonus is applied there. Yeah, let's uh, deconstruct these. We don't need them anymore. They can go. Now, this over here, there should be no option for polluted water just yet. Yeah, didn't think so. There will be shortly, though, once that drops some uh, bottles of polluted water on the ground. And there we go, polluted water. That's going to be germy polluted water. We're going to dump it in here. Yep, perfect. Uh, no need to enable auto bottle or anything like that. And we still got plenty of oxygen coming in from this oxalite. I don't know if this is the same on the standard map, but there's definitely feels like there's a lot more oxalite running around this map. It does make surviving the early game just that little bit less unpleasant than it could be if they had actually decided to limit that a bit more. Uh, Research-wise, we're still smashing through the research. Uh, where is it? Yeah, that research goes extremely quickly with a good research dupe. Uh, we'll skip forward a bit more. <laughs> There's a lot of digging to go ahead. Hmm. I may have queued up way, way, way too many dig commands. I should really be focusing more on getting the algae set up. But uh, I'm trying to get through these maps. Oh, this is one of not the most exciting map in the map pool yet. I just want to get my get the hang of the forest biome. This forest biome start is quite good. Well, not quite good. It's not quite as good as the original biome, or the starting temperate biome. So I'm trying to figure out what's the fastest way I can get away from the start of the game. You can do this game quite slowly, you could take a lot more time about it. I just don't want to. I want to smash through this as quickly as possible. So that's what I'm trying to accomplish. An optimized way of getting through it. And I'm thinking the easiest way is get algae. Algae just makes your life so much simpler, and then you can hold out until you get an electrolyzer set up. Uh, is that hydrogen? You know what? I am not going to release that hydrogen just yet. Uh, also, are poke shells of... Oh, they can survive underwater. I did not know that. Hmm. What's their heat, actually? What's their heat tolerance? These poke shells are going to be an interesting creature to deal with. Minus 30 to 100 degrees. Okay, so... Ah, this is the devs trying to stop us from making automated meat farms. Actually, they've they've nerfed meat horribly. Uh, meat used to be you just get some meat from a critter, you combine it with some pepper nuts, and boom, you've got barbecue. 4,000 calories worth of barbecue. 
was very simple to do but now they've made it so that you need this special cooker to do it and that special cooker means you need to use natural gas and that natural gas means yeah good luck just good luck that's all i'm saying it just takes so much resources uh let's see let's grab should i grab bathrooms i don't want to be using my clean water actually i do have enough clean water i could probably get away with it right about now you know what yeah let's just use the clean water let's get a plumbed bathrooms up and running i'm also going to need a plumb or a pump actually i do not have that much clean water yeah that's one thing about this start it has a lot less clean water than you're used to hmm how much clean water? We've got tw lots of 20 degree water there. You know what? I am not going to put in plum toilets. I'll let the research finish because I've started, but no, plum toilets are a bad idea. Now, uh, once we get over here, we can go grab that buddy bud plant. What's that gold amalgam? I'm going to have to engineer a little system in here. So the plan here is to drop all this algae into this polluted water, which has conveniently lined itself up perfectly like that. If it wasn't there, I'd just use down here or something. And, ooh, natural gas. You know what? Worry about that later. What we're here for is the algae. That is the number one concern. I do want to take out that entire bottom row. Why are you... Oh, actually, we also want to get in some oxygen deodorizers here. Don't get... Don't get entombed. Don't get entombed. Oh, there is a buddy bud seed. Since we've got a buddy bud seed, it's time to plant one down. I'm going to place it near the power spine as well, because we are going to be dumping... Oh my god, look at all these exclamation marks. I'm getting rid of these. I, I don't care. Okay, totally rid of, totally worth it getting rid of all those exclamations. Now, uh, we'll just put a... Hmm, let's say I put a buddy bud plant about here. Actually, let's queue up a few more. We're going to want more of these later. Uh, say one down here as well. And then another one up top. Yeah, I'm going to place buddy bud plants in those, and then I'm going to place oxygen diffusers beside them, and then the oxygen diffusers will get filled with algae. Um, oh, also some more refinement I need to do. Uh, refinement, where are we? Yeah, put down a couple of compost. Probably should have done that a while back. I'm also sticking down some deodorizers here, just to stop any polluted water that off gases in here escaping. Check the gases overlay. Yeah, I've got a little bit of chlorine that escaped up there, but I'm fine with that. A little bit of polluted oxygen in here, but that'll be gotten rid of. And a little bit more chlorine, and actually there's more polluted oxygen down here as well. Yeah, you pretty much just have to spam them everywhere, don't you? You don't really have a choice. Yeah, you know what that'll do. One there, one there. Yeah. I'm going to call it quits at that. But yeah, getting in here to get access to all this stuff, totally worth it. Now, uh, once that's done, I'm gonna st I can basically start digging up, and all, uh, say from here across and then up, and all the slime and algae will fall down into this water, and the slime won't off gas because it because it will be underwater. So that should allow me to clean up most of this area. Actually, please tell me there's no slime lung. Ah, oh, there's slime lung in there. Okay, that's a problem. I may have to sacrifice a dupe to the slime lung. Well, not so much sacrifice as just uh, yeah, they'll have an uncomfortable time of it. Uh, how much polluted oxygen? You know what? I could just avoid that pocket and take everywhere else. Everywhere else is completely clean. Yeah. I'll just avoid that pocket and take the whole rest of this biome apart. Ooh, okay, except for that as well. Damn it. Most of this biome apart. Close enough. Well, the new dupes are pretty terrible. Uh, that one's about the only one I'd even consider hiring, but plus seven farming and nothing else. When I already have a farmer, not worth it. I'll grab the oxy fern seed and I'm sure I'll find a use for it at some point in the future. In the meantime, I want to concentrate on getting more oxygen into my base, because if because if you check the oxygen overlay, you'll notice, yep, it's a little bit sparse in some places. Uh, this stuff is doing its best to off-gas where I need it, but uh, I think that's about... Yeah, there's not much of it left around the map, so I really need to start getting this uh, this algae up and running soon. Very, very, very soon. Which will make you a six. We want that buddy blood to have completely contaminated that area. Now, get rid of this, this, and this. Uh, let's skip forward a bit until we've got more of this ready to rumble. Okay, so I've managed to core out some of this and get my hands on some algae. 500 kilos of this stuff. Thank God. Okay. Now we throw this in here. We just took that up to the power grid, which is still unfortunately running on duplicate labor because we don't have access to any decent coal source or power source, really. We could use wood, but the wood's going to generate an awful lot of carbon dioxide. I suppose I could flood the entire bottom half of the map with it. And, well, the oxyferns could eat some of it, but they wouldn't be able to keep up. So for the time being, I'm just sticking with the the hamster wheel. 
Oh, which reminds me, I should delete some of these batteries. Uh, deconstruct. So, the great thing about this is, it doesn't matter if my algae has germs in it, because the buddy bud plant basically smothers all the germs that try and come out of it. And uh, ooh, I've got a second buddy bud plant. You know what? We'll put you up there, buddy bud. Do I have it? Yeah, I just had a second one. Never mind. I was hoping I had a third. Soon, though, I'll find more. Just as so long as I keep taking apart this slime biome, I'll eventually get my hands on more of it. Um, oh, yeah, my duplicates have slowed down on this because they're actually going around and taking out these areas as well. I've decided to let them finish those off. I've got enough. I've actually got oxygen pumping out of this. That's actually, oh, so much better. Perfect. That takes care of my oxygen problems for quite a while. Now, so long as I can keep demolishing slime biomes or find myself a, a caustic biome. I'm not sure. Yeah, there's a caustic biome right there, which means there's probably... Who's suffocating? Wow, Megamind, you're not too bright. Okay, we're going to make this uh, priority seven. Yeah, priority seven. Dig that out now. Damn, you are dumb. Okay, never mind. Crisis averted. Okay, this base has hit pretty much mm, early game stability. With the algae to kick in, we should be good to go for quite some time. Uh, if I can find myself another pocket of algae up there, I'll count myself very, very lucky. And I can always dig down here further and grab more. And I don't think I've actually even released any slime lung. Yeah, I've managed to mine out this much of the map without actually mine out this much of this area without releasing any slime lung, which I consider pretty much a miracle, actually. Uh, yep. The only hard part is you have to dig up very, very carefully. For example, if I queue that up to there, maybe they dig that piece of slime first, then the lower bits, and then I end up with slime lung in here, and slime lung will spread. So you have to be very careful about the digging. By and large, though, not that bad. Actually, we dig all that too. Um, dig it all that and that. I can pretty much let in everything but that. That, for some reason, is full of slime lung. I'm going to presume it was the puffed. Now, uh, how's my slime algae looking? Okay, I've managed to actually chew through most of that algae. Yeah, I'm going to have to go on a bigger algae hunt, aren't I? Eh, one moment. And we've got another dupe I think I'm going to take on. I might make them a second beastie. Uh, beastie 2, yeah. Though I do want to get my hands on an artist sooner rather than later. My next dupe that I'm going to take on in is an artist. Uh, how's my algae looking? Yeah. I am chewing through the algae quite quickly, but I think I'm at about a reasonable state. Uh, so let's take out some more of this and put in some more mealwood. You need five raw mealwood. I'm not even cooking the stuff. You need five raw mealwood for every dupe, and I've got, what, five dupes, so I need 25. A few extra? Yeah, a few extra won't hurt. And the pips aren't actually keeping up with eating all the seeds. In fact, I only have one pip. Normally you get like four or five on a map. You know what? I'm not going to worry about it. Um, okay, I'm going to go up here and see if I can't have a look inside this caustic biome. If I can find a bunch of algae in there, it would really help stretch my supplies. Uh, at the same time, I want to actually find somewhere cold. And there is a rust biome. Perfect. That rust biome is where I'm going to be building my electrolyzer setup. And then I can start sieving water. Pretty much uh, polluted water or salt water, I don't care. And then I'm going to run that through an electrolyzer, have the electrolyzer run it through the salt biome to cool it down, and have that oxygen pumped into my base. And that will be oxygen sorted. Food-wise, yeah, we're just going to stick on mealwood for now, though I do have plans to start ranching uh, pips. Though, yeah, that seems to be taking a while to get around to it. Uh, not your mum, improve carrying back two. Beastmaster, you're going to get critter ranching. Actually, I should start critter ranching now. Uh, Beastie two. Uh, I should maybe get you into art just to start, and then I can reset you. You know what? No, I'm going to leave you on nothing. We are going to put you on a schedule of this one. We're going to stick on the second schedule, Beastie 2. Actually, you know what? I've I've committed to making you a Beastie, so we'll just start promoting you already. And now we're going to actually have to make a ranch, one where we can put our, hmm, our one pip that's on the map. Yes, we're going to ranch pips for food. I know that may sound crazy, but yes, you want to ranch pips for food. They're actually one of the cheapest food sources you can possibly get, and they're water-free. Um, I'll get into it in more detail as we go along, but for the time being, 
So we put it slime long off casting. Nope. But you can basically feed them wood. Wood is free, therefore pips are just a super handy food source. <laughs> so the dupe comes up here, climbs across the side instead of just building the ladder. Uh, you gotta love them. They're just so mm, duplicate. Is that algae? Yeah, more algae. Yeah, it's a little bit of a Swiss cheese here I'm doing, but uh, I'll eventually have all the algae. I... Yeah, I've got 1,500 kilos of algae. My algae is actually going up and my oxygen is... What's my oxygen looking like? You know what? We're going to stick in a second oxygen diffuser up here. Because we can. Now, the reason I'm also looking for that caustic biome, it'll have coal. Let's check some consumable ores here. Uh, the consumable ore... Cool. Yeah, there's plenty of coal in here, which means I can use that for power. At that point, we're pretty much back to where we started on the temperate biome of. We have coal for power, uh, algae for our oxygen, and then we just move into the late game just as you normally would, except we'll be using pips for omelets. Anyway, I think I can skip this forward just a little bit more because this is, um, as you can see, this build is a bit on the edge and some of my excess, some of my other activities are interfering. Uh, copy settings. Why are you not? Growth halted pressure. Wow. Okay, yeah, I'm glad I put that oxygen diffuser up there. I'd actually been consuming all the oxygen up this high. Oops. You know what? Never mind. We'll, we'll have that sorted soon enough. Once we crack in here, find some more algae, and get our electrolyzer set up, I'm probably going to have to demolish... Oh, that is really annoying. I would like to get rid of all of that, but I can't. I'll go across the top of it. We'll worry about that later. Anyway, for the time being, let me just check the footage. Right, so checking the footage, I'm coming up on the 40 minute mark, which is where I kind of like to stop at this point. A uh, couple of things that I noticed though, I never really mentioned why I was placing the buddy buds here. Uh, the buddy buds are here because they off-gas germs, uh, floral scent germs. And if I put in algae into this that has, um, give me the oxygen diffuser. If I end up putting in algae in here that actually has germs in it, uh, which can happen quite handily. There's a, if, there, if any of the algae I pick up from in here has infested with slime lung germs, and uh, none of these are. Why are none of those infested with slime lung germs? Did they change that? It used to be slime lung would uh, transfer between... It would actually infest the algae. I th My god, is that gone? Have I been... If that's the case, pulling algae out of here is just simple. All you got to do is worry about the slime. There's slime in here with zero germs in it. Ah, that's... Okay, that's crazy. Maybe I'm looking at this wrong. One second. Okay, I'm not I'm not going crazy. I actually found some slime lung over here that has infested some algae. Yeah, it was here. So what should happen, or what normally happens, is slime lung hits a, a certain percentage in slime, and then it actually starts spreading to nearby tiles. For example, this sedimentary rock is infested with slime lung. So it can infect non-organic material as well. But normally what happens is it gets into the algae. It doesn't actually live very well on the algae, but because it's touching the slime, it ends up with a bunch of slime lung in it. By making sure I've got these buddy bud plants right beside my, or I don't need to put them right beside it, but close to my uh, oxygen diffusers, that means I don't have to worry about uh, any slime lung getting in. The reason being, germs, two germs can't exist in the same spot. So by placing buddy buds down, no problems with that. In fact, what I think I'm going to do is try and acquire several more buddy buds. Maybe if I say grabbed a couple of buddy buds, put them up here, drain the water, the slime in here would off gas but the slime wouldn't be able to give off germs, well, theoretically, and then I could deodorize the polluted oxygen and turn it into clean oxygen for my base. Well, theoretically. I'm not going to do that just yet. But uh, I think I'm going to cut the video out here. Oh, wait a minute, nope. See, I don't want to do that there. If I actually dig out both of those pieces of slime, if the dupe takes the top one first, that'll land on top of this, start off-gassing, give off slime lung, and yet... Yeah, oh, not that either. And that will all become rather messy rather quickly. So yeah, we'll just do it that way instead. All right, so um, I think there'll just be one more episode on this map, just to well, just to iron out all the last of the kinks here. This this start is not as hard as some of the later starts, I don't think. I'm pretty sure the other map types, or I hope the other map types, are going to be a lot more challenging. This one was just a case of finding out where to go. But uh, next to setup will just be getting some more algae and setting up an electrolyzer. Once that's done, I think we can classify this map as sort of, well, the early game of it solved. I'm not going to get into the late game stuff yet, like getting into uh, electrolyzers, not electrolyzers, the alcohol settings or ethanol. 
and all that actually but I am I am going to actually set up a, a ranch here I want to ranch some pips just to show how powerful ranching pips can be it seems like a very powerful strategy just from what I've tested in the the debug version uh, but yeah we'll, we'll leave that till the next episode anyway I hope you enjoyed and uh, good luck